all men are not dogs. There are some great, excellent, phenomenal men still left in the world. And she missed out on a good man. No place because it's no fun when your spirit is undone. Unraveling down the hole in the barrel of a shotgun. You got to think and you're better than me. Look inside yourself and what do you see? What's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Snap Political, and we're about to dive right into this video. At first, I wasn't gonna make any comments, I wasn't gonna say anything, but when I kept seeing this come up in my timeline, I said, I gotta address the issue slightly. So, Tyrese's wife is saying, well, keyword, ex wife, my bad, is coming back out and saying some things about, you know, how she had people in her ear, how she wanted to be back with him. I didn't know it had been three years. And I said, okay, let's tap into this video because I was not going to actually say anything about it and I haven't really been diving into what's been going on. <laughs> so let's get into this video and this is going to be Tyrese's response to the ex. Never tell your problems to people who are not qualified to solve them. That's your kinfolk, people who you may think your closest friends. No, ma'am. No, sir. Especially when it comes to your marriage. You need to have the right people, counselors, therapists, priests, pastors, prophets, prophetess. You need to have people around you or access willing to seek out the help that you need for your marriage. Groups, communities, all the above specifically for marriage if you're looking to continually make improvement you got to take responsibility as to a why you still there and b why didn't you get the help that you needed so you can make the decision to leave if that's what needed to happen or the counseling for both of you but i i strongly strongly feel because i've been married for 12 13 years we been married in um 20 2011 so dated since 2009 i you know and that person I talked about that doing the Jada and Will video and check that one out about how I felt about that. I know I don't judge people for what they do and how they move because like I said, you without sin cast the first stone. I know God's word is very is very, you know, strategic and very specific about how he views marriage. So let's tap into this. Look, man, I was not going to respond to I this know. video of my ex has now gone viral she is loving it congratulations you went viral again over something else that you said because you're trying to build up your youtube page and get your <laughs> followers up <laughs> listen man listen if you had people in your ear that influenced you into leaving your husband and your one-year-old child your innocent one-year-old child we both were divorcee kids, grew up in toxic environments, torn in between our old family, new family, stepfather, stepmother. That's a life that we both lived. And you packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family you're heartless mm. none of your friends recognize you this is all about money if you had friends in your ear you're lying you're gaslighting you're playing the only person that was in your ear was your mama mm. her name is patricia randolph mm. you didn't have people in your ear the amount of people that was supposedly in your ear, you also had a whole lot of people like Aventer Gray, Taffy Dollar, Creflo Dollar's wife, who married us. Mm. You had a whole lot of people in your ear telling you that you're about to do something stupid, impulsive, and y'all are actually not going through anything that would make you want to leave your husband. Wow. Let's go even further. Mm. When Aventer Gray and Pastor John Gray were having their own marital issues at the time, you arranged a therapy session with Aventer Gray at our house. Wow. And when she walked out of her therapy session, she walked into the foyer where the bumblebee is, and there was 50 boxes with like seven or eight people there packing up all the shit to leave the house. Mm. And I was in an airplane on my way home to try and fight and save our marriage. Wow. So if you had people in your ear at the time, 
they must be still in your ear mm -hmm. because you're still trying to get twenty thousand dollars a month for a five-year-old you make a hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year on your own mm. this is all a game wow. you're clout chasing you're something that i don't even know mm. a simple woman not into materialistic things don't want don't care about fame and mansions and popularity you're everything that you told me and all of your friends and loved ones that you wasn't. Wow. If you wanted to be famous, boo-boo, that's all you had to say. Mm. You didn't have to play this game that you wasn't. Wow. Now you are here playing on single mothers and their emotions, playing on women that are actually in abusive relationships and fucked up marriages that are toxic and dark and dysfunctional. Mm. That's not what, what, what that was. Mm. You think I would have a song entitled, I don't think you ever loved me if I didn't really feel that way? You think I would have a song out called Love Transaction if I didn't realize that it was never love, it was just a transaction? This shit is about money. Wow. You've hired three law firms trying to fucking suck me dry. I'm approaching a million dollars in legal fees and we had a prenup. You already tried to ask me to come back. Mm. You already tried to reconcile. I told you I was in a relationship with Zelly and I was not willing to go and break this off or cut this woman off Wow! because you decided to wake up on a Wednesday and come back and play in the sandbox. Right. Woo. Everything about the way you left me was heartless. Mm. It was evil. You never considered me, your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. And if you really are really suddenly caring about the effects that you've had on me and your family, why don't you sit these fucking lawyers off of me? Mm. Call your lawyers right now and tell them that everything that you're still trying to get right now, you don't want it no more. Mm. $20,000 a month for a child? Wow. Our prenup says no alimony. Mm. Our prenup said everything that the prenup said. You're trying to crack the prenup. Mm. And it's been three years of it. I should have never hired a fucking attorney. I had a prenup. Everything that I was supposed to give you in the prenup, I gave it to you. Mm. You want more. Mm. And it's been three years. You know, I've always truly, truly been a fan of Tyrese. I really, I really have. You know, I just liked how he's moved when I've seen him, you know, acting and things that he's done. I always loved his voice and his vocals. Never followed him in a marriage and all that type of thing. That just, you know, hasn't been my flow. But when I see celebrity couples break up, I tap in because, you know, I support marriage. And it's disappointing to hear that when you marry someone, they appear to be one way. And then, you know, you find out later that they're not who they appear to be. And you want someone to love you for who you are, not for the things that you have, not what you can do for them. Because it won't keep a person it's not about the things i like nice things i like you know you know i like to have money to do what i want to do when i want to do it however you can only buy so many things you can only go so many places and you can travel the world and and continue to travel the world so many places and you want to do it with someone that you love however it's going to dry up meaning that the fulfillment and the and that and that thing that you thought that money was bringing you is going to dry up absent from a person. You want someone that you truly love, that loves you on your stinking breath days, your hair days, your no teeth days, your something going on with your body days. I mean, you want the person that's going to be down like four flats regardless. You can grind and hustle and get the money together. Money is the low hanging fruit, but it's the person that you're with. Are they going to be with you to the end? And like he said, you listen to the wrong folk. This is just crazy. Taffy Dollar. Oh my gosh. Wow. The, I mean, the, the council was there. The council was there. I've moved on. I'm with Zelly. Mm. You moved on. I don't even want to tell niggas the first nigga you started dating when we broke up. Because you're going to go viral from that. <laughs> if I were to tell niggas who you started dating as soon as we broke up, you would go viral from that. Mm. All you want is attention. You want Facebook followers. You want Instagram followers. Mm. You're trying to be a life coach and you're trying to get niggas to drink the Kool-Aid. You fucking with a real one right here. Mm. Everybody can see through your bullshit. 
I may be alpha. I may be loud. I may appear to be a narcissist, as some niggas would say in the comments. Girl, you was good to leave that nigga. He's a narcissist. No, she's a fucking narcissist. Not only is she a narcissist, but she's a sociopath as well. And what is a sociopath? Someone who will maliciously and vindictively do some shit, fuck over you, hurt you, be made aware of the fact that they inflicted trauma and pain on you and not even call you and text you to say they sorry. Right. Did wow. you think about the effects that it was going to have on me or our innocent child when you left me the way you did? Did you think about anything? No, it's all about Samantha. Wow. So now go ahead and chase whatever career you're trying to chase. Mm. Go ahead and go viral. Go ahead and keep doing your goofy ass podcast and Miracle Mondays and whatever the fuck else you're trying to build Ooh. over here. I don't want no one to confuse me releasing songs the way Adele released songs about her ex-husband, the way Jasmine Sullivan and Mary J. Blige release songs about their exes when they get cheated on, lie, get fucked over, when they go through painful relationships that come to an end. I don't want no one to confuse me releasing songs, singing about how I feel about Samantha with confusing me wanting this woman back. Mm. If I wanted her back, I would have got her back. Mm. I don't want Sam. She may be saying that she was thinking about, no. If you had people in your ear when you left me, those same people are in your ear three years later. That's because right. Because the fucking three lawyers years? are still on my back every day. Wow. Go sell this shit to somebody else. Mm. Look at every interview I've done from Sway in the Morning to The Breakfast Club to everything that I've been posting and everything that I've been saying. And if you don't like me, nigga, I don't like you. I don't need none of you women in my comments saying they like me. I don't care to be liked. I got my heart broke. I was married. I was with this woman for five years. I never cheated. I got more access to pussy than most niggas I know. Mm. I was a good man, a good husband, and very, very focused on my family and my children. And the twenty-five dollars or $2,600 that I was giving Samantha since she decided to leave me, I was giving her that for two years straight without a court order. Wow. Find somebody else that's going to cut a check for $2,600 without the judge making a judgment for you to do so. Mm. I'll always take care of my kids. She's trying to turn a prenup into alimony, right. which she ain't getting. She's She's I trying to get something that she's not getting because the prenup is protecting me. Yeah. And she's, yes. Okay. So at the end of the day, man, listen, I am not here to have any of y'all to keep drinking the Kool-Aid. Hmm. Y'all are going to have to fucking wake up and understand that when re relationships and marriages ends, contrary to what the world believes, it ain't always a cheating man mm. who's verbally and physically abusing you, fucking over you, doing something. It's very simple. If it ain't about Samantha, it ain't about nothing. I guess being in a relationship with a big personality and an entertainer, which she signed up for, made her cave. Slowly but surely cave. Her mama was the one who was like, Oh, we did it. Like, we hit the lottery type shit. Gas. The and then her mom got threatened and was insecure about the marriage and the relationship that we have. In the Bible, it says, leave and cleave. You know about that scripture? That's or right. Or you keep skipping over that every hmm. time you do an interview. Hmm. Leave and cleave to your husband. Amen. And your family. That's right. Your mama never wanted you to leave. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop it here.